Hi, welcome to Always the Wild Ones. If it's your first time here, my name's Vanessa Lee. And today, um, I've literally just got home from Ikea. I have quite a few things that I'm gonna show you and I'm hoping to build a shelving unit for my plants. I've got a couple of other little bits and bobs that I'm gonna show you. And yeah, I'm just gonna like talk you through the new presentation. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to present my plants in a different way. I suppose I should read through the instructions. Oh, it looks really easy. Oh, <laughs> let it be over. Go along. Hopefully this is gonna be um, not too stressful. I mean, it's Ikea, isn't it? I've got to build something. So I'm gonna try not to get stressed out and just take it in my stride. So yeah, let me show you all the other bits and bobs that I bought today. So the first is this very long package, which is the Fitzgerald shelving unit. Um, it's got glass shelves, but anyway, you don't look at the box. I've got myself another propagation box. Excuse the pile of clothing. That's all my winter clothes that need to be packed away. This I did not buy today. Um, yeah, I bought this new propagation box. I've also bought a pane of glass because I'm hoping to replace this white shelf with a glass shelf and that will allow the light from there to kind of shine through because these two lights have to stay there because this area will kind of be a little gloomy. Okay, let me show you what else I got. So I found some really cool things. Of course, I had to get some candles, my favourite ones. I really like those ones. I don't know how to say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, had to grab some of those. This I actually bought from the pound shop. It cost me two pounds. I went in and got some cylinders because um, I've used up all of my vessels. I bought another one of these because I actually quite like my hanging um, philodendron. It's currently in the other one. And I just think that looks super cute. And then I found this. This is a new vase. This one I think was, um, how much was this? Seven, seven pound. It was about two pounds seventy-five, I think. Let's have a look at the receipt. Do I have it on the receipt? Uh, yeah, two pounds seventy-five bargain. There was one larger one, like a taller one, like kind of. I don't know, it's probably like that tall, like double the height for £4.50, but I didn't want a taller one. Quite happy with that one. And then I bought some things to go on my pegboard so that I can peg more Hoyas to the board. So I got four of those. There's two in a pack, but I got four all together. And I also got these hook things. So hopefully these work out. And I think these were... And there's five in a pack so five yeah i think there's yeah there's five in a pack and i think these were three pound i think they were three pounds yeah they were and then i also bought some more of these containers because i find these very useful for like when i've pre-washed perlite and stuff it's just like quick and accessible and you get like a pack there's loads of like little ones as well, which I've got a load of them there. Yeah, I've got a load of them there. I mean, I really don't use them for much. Sometimes I put like a half a tomato in there or something and then it will just rot and I end up throwing it out. So I'm not going to use those because they're just not, they're not any good for me. Oh, it just started raining. Anyway, I really want to get at least the shelf done and then tomorrow, because it is already quite late, and then tomorrow I will probably come back and do the shelf, the glass shelf, because I think, I mean, I am a bit concerned about how thin it is. But anyway, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I've got my little basket of tools. Hopefully I've got the correct tools. And yeah, let's get into this thing. Of course, I didn't bring scissors, did I? That would have been the most obvious thing to bring. Okay. Oh. I've been umming and ahhing about this shelving for such a long time. Um, because 
I I really want to get a like a cabinet, a book with glass, you know, like a glass cabinet for the plants. But I was just really concerned about putting it right here in front of the windows, but worried that things would just cook inside. I found another space for the cabinet so it can live on the darker side of the room, which is behind the camera. Um, and then it just makes sense that the cabinet would have the lights on. So I'll be taking, I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna work this out actually, but I'm hoping that once I've built this, it won't need lights. Hopefully it'll be a nice sunny day tomorrow and I'll get a, a good look at what I'm dealing with. So I've got my yoga mat out because I don't want to make too much noise downstairs. <laughs> my neighbours, this is the evening. Oh, what's that? My glasses, right. Okay, so we have loads of packaging. Oh, it looks really easy. Oh, thank God. Okay, so they're pretty much pre-made. Just have to work out which end is which. I'll just put it there for now. What else have we got? Another one of these. Oh, this is actually looking like it's going to be fairly easy. Those plastic. I'll probably save that. Okay, where's the glass? Uh, ooh. There's like a square bit. Okay, this is the glass. So I'm going to put that up on the sofa. Oh wow, they're quite thick. Quite thick pieces of glass. Thicker than the one that I... Actually, no, it's the same. But they're tempered glass, so that's good. I suppose I should read through the instructions. Oh, there's another one. Brilliant. Let's take this horrible sticker off. I hate it when they put these stickers on. The rose made, I mean, they could just put it on a tag and just tie it on. They don't have to stick stuff on. Oh, I hate that. It's leaving a sticky resin dune. Right, where should I put the instructions? Okay, so number one. Yeah, I'm guessing that the bars are all the same. And then we've got two planks of wood, one to the top, one to the bottom. So I don't know what these are for. Kind of triangular things. And those are like sticky things. I don't know what those are for. It doesn't really tell you. Maybe I'm just not at that stage yet. Oh, okay, so we've got loads of different, so these are meant to go on the bottom of the, these are the feet, but there's only, yeah, so there's four of them, that makes sense. About putting stuff on the bottom, but there's, oh no, they're not on the bottom. Oh, okay, I need to do that. Actually, that's quite cool, because if the floor is unstable, then you can kind of wind these up and down. I quite like that actually. So yeah, I've been like measuring my plants and making sure that they're not going to be too high. And I really hope I have made the right decision here. Oh, I should have timed myself to see how quick it is, how quick it takes me to do this. Extra pressure. So, I have lots of things. Oh. Um, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna carry on going along the whole length, just doing all of these, and then I slap the top one. Oh, it's easy. Gosh, this is so easy. Love it. I have to make sure that they go the right way up. I've got another one with a sticky thing on it. Please, why? Why? Why, why, why? I hate these sticky things. is great I mean to be honest you don't really need to read the instructions Ooh. this is probably where you need an extra person ah! <laughs> it's in okay let me just whiz around and do these guys now I've got to screw this no holes. So on the diagram it looks like you do this and then you put that down. Oh, okay, thank you. That. Good, good, good. Oh my god, it's not going in. Why do I need this on? Do I need it on? I don't think I need to screw it on. I mean, it's just gonna sit on the top. I'm not gonna do that bit. I'm missing it out. I really just, I don't see why I need to do that. So I'm just gonna, cause I mean, it's got a lip and everything. This isn't gonna fall off. It's, I mean, there's absolutely no reason to actually do that. So I'm skipping that bit. This stage, I should stand it up. Okay, it's all up. It's very tall. Oh my gosh, it feels taller than me almost. It's amazing. Yes, I love it. Love it. Cool. with that so I think what I'm going to do now is start, start moving the plants off of this shelving and just put that bit of wood on top I mean I don't understand why I have to screw that one right let's move the babies Actually, before I do that, I need to move all of this stuff. Okay, so I'm back. I've got myself a coffee. A coffee break. Right. Move you. Okay. Let's put this in place. So this can just slip in like that. Oh my God, that's perfect. Right, so now I just need to put the glass shelves on. Or oh, the bottom shelf. Oh, I'm so happy. I mean, this was such a reasonable price as well. It really makes, oh, it looks great. I love it. I can't believe I procrastinated for so long. Put some of the shelves the wrong way up. Yeah, I've put some of them the wrong way up. I'm gonna to have to redo it. Ah, it's so annoying. This is what I'm doing. Okay, so we're at this stage, basically. So, got two different types. See, one's got a hole in it and the other one does not. So that one's going to go there, and 
this one is going to go here. <laughs> Let it be over. So yeah, these things, I don't know why you need them, but I'm going to put them on. I guess it just reinforces some kind of stability of some sort. I'm kind of screw. I think it's the big ones again. explains why there were so many of these screws because I was thinking why have they put so many there's a lot of them oh my gosh my neighbors must hate me I always feel like I'm very organized but actually I'm quite like once I start doing something I'm just really like a bit rough and ready um and I just find myself like just, I just want it done quickly. I'm very impatient. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera up a bit higher now because we have done this bit. <laughs> okay, so that's the top bit in. I'm gonna put the bottom one on. So I'm not screwing these down, I really don't see them. And actually, by not screwing them down means that I can just take the shelf off and clean it. So actually that's a win-win for me. So these sticky things actually go on the parts that are gonna hold the glass shelves up to or stop it from slamming about. So that's good. This one here. Oh my god, she looks amazing. Oh my god, are you seeing this? I'm loving it. I don't know if it's you there. And then these little dudes, I'm not sure where they're gonna go. I mean, there's loads of space. I can put quite a few plants on there. I'm really happy. Okay, so I've only got a couple of things on. We've barely got any light at the moment. It's quite late. So I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. Of course, I'm gonna have a little faff off camera, but hopefully it'll be slightly more organized for tomorrow morning. And then I can do, I wanna take the pin board off of that of my old shelving unit and I want to attach it to this wall and pin on loads of Hoyas, well all the Hoyas, the ones that can be pinned on. I'm really happy. All right, I will see you again in about five seconds, but for me, I'm gonna have an evening, some dinner, uh, a movie and bed. But yeah, I'll see you very soon. really sturdy I'm gonna do a bit of dusting I'll probably need to get the hoover out 
I'm not going to put you through any more noise. I'll be straight back once everything's tidy and then I'll start putting all the plants back. Okay, so now for the fun part. Let's put the plants back. So I'm going to start with the Gloriosa. the Zanum back. This little baby. Um, right. And then this one. So before I had this at the back, but I think I'm going to put someone else in there. So I think I'm going to put my Monstera in there. Mm, okay, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but I just want to test this out. got this massive aerial root hanging out the back so I can't really, I suppose it will bend, it's quite bendy. Then I can start putting all the Hoyas on the wall. Oh my gosh, it's going to look amazing. Okay, so I've got some Hoyas already on clips. Let me get the rest of the clips. So yeah, I bought some more of these clip things. They're so useful. I'm going to show you how I use them. So this bit just clips on the back of the board over there. And then I want all my Hoyas. So yeah, what you're going to have to do is obviously try and make some space for this clip to go down. And it's really secure. Got a clip on the back. And she is full of pedungles. She's got one here. Oh, hang on. This way is better if I put my hand. No, she's got one there. And she's got this massive one here. It's huge. I mean, that one's ready to pop, so I definitely want to up her lighting. Don't want to disturb her too much. So I think I'm going to put her right in the centre, which is about here. This is working so nicely. Do you reckon guys? It's looking good, right? And I've now got a full shelf here so I can put something else on this shelf. I can go shopping for plants. I've got a whole shelf. So yeah, this is the wall. Oh my gosh, I'm really loving it. I can definitely put more Hoyas on there. I probably will put two more screws at either end at the bottom once I get the wall plugs and more screws. But yeah, I'm kind of happy with the positioning at the moment. And then I've got more Hoyas up there, which are looking really cute. And then this is my shelving at the moment. 
so I have a whole shelf there now I was planning oh and then I've got a whole bottom shelf as well so I do want to put lights on that bottom shelf so yeah on the bottom shelf there'll basically be plants that I'm either propagating or um, they're just highlight plants and then I'm going to put another light on the top that will shine down on these two guys. Now this plant here doesn't really like too much light so I have to I have to be careful. And then I put my Ritsalis on the top and I've got the Pubicalyx, Hoya Pubicalyx at the back there. I do need to find a better place for that. So I mean maybe I can just put that on the shelf now but I'm feeling very very happy with all of this. Now I just want to change that little box because I want to put all the plants in this slightly higher box and then that way when I put the lights on top they're not as close to the plants as they currently are. Yeah, okay, let me put this back on the stand and yeah, let's complete this job. But I'm really, I'm actually really liking that. Obsessed with my new layout. I'm so happy with how the plants are looking. Up on the board, look. Oh, the whole wall has plants and that's exactly what I wanted. And the glass shelf allowing the light to come down. I'm really happy. I don't know what I, I, I feel that the Monstera is going to be happy up there. Um, it's going to get less direct sun, but it'll still get like a nice honey glow. Because when it was further down on the shelf, the sun was hitting the leaves and it was like around, it was doing that maybe three or four times a day. And, but it was that kind of midday one that I was mostly concerned about or any, the afternoon light does seem to be fairly harsh. It hasn't showed any signs of distress apart from I do have like a little fungal spot on there and I'm gonna cut that off because um, I don't want that spreading. And yeah, I think the next step is just to put everything into this box that I have. So I'm going to put the camera down so you can see what's going on. Right, so all I need to do is just pop all of these guys into this box. So yeah, uh, might as well show you what I've got here. This is like a cutting from my Syngonium elbow. And she's been living in the box for quite some time. These white leaves are the reason why I cut the plant. Um, but she's, yeah. Uh, She's still pushing out white leaves, um, which I feel I feel that the light is too high. So, which is why I want to raise the lighting. I have two of these, which I got I mean, from Corms. This is Alocasia Red Secret, and I've got some other Corms in there that are taking their sweet time. But aren't they adorable? I love the underside of the leaf. It's so cute put you in there one and side by side <laughs> let's get them all in little rows this one's struggling i just noticed that oh dear okay um i think i'm going to repot this one i'm not going to put it back in the box i feel that this sphagnum moss is just it's just not enough for this plant anymore so that's coming out. Let's put you in. So this is like another Hoya. Oh, maybe I should put this one up on the wall. Why is it in the box? Oh, I'm selling this one or I'm going to do a swap with it. But I wonder if I should put it in, on the board. I'm going to put it back in the box for now. Because <sighs> it's happy there. Put it on the swivel. Put my... Oh, I hope that's not too wet. Um, yeah, this is in sphagnum moss. So I decided to put it in a, a vessel with some lacquer balls at the bottom to work as a reservoir. But now 
it's showing signs that that is a little too much it could be a whole humidity thing as well i have another begonia over there and it's just in water and it's in natural it's out out of the box so i think i might take her out as well put you on the shelf um okay let's put these guys out. i want to put these guys back in although they will have to be put into soil at some stage i've got my silver sword it's not a silver sword it's a philodendron um florida ghost and this one definitely i want to i'm slowly acclimating everything that's in this box um yeah, <laughs> that's what's happening with the box. Let's get you in there. What is the best way for you to sit like that? And what else have I got? I also have, oh, that's just like another baby um, Melanocrysum, just growing from a wet stick. And there's another one on the other side. Well, there's a, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's got lots of roots. Ooh, rooty. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, there's some nice roots. There's my Doriaki. She's actually got a new leaf on the way, which is really nice. If you can see that. And yeah, she's, she seems pretty happy. Put her back in. Look at those roots, they're so lovely and chunky. So, yeah, pop you in with another. Oh, 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 the leaf is open. Got another Melanocrysum, and the leaf is finally opened. I'm so pleased because I was a bit worried, it seemed very floppy, and that was concerning me. And then I've got this massive leaf that was kind of getting in the way of it, but it's out now, so it should be able to fight for its position. I might actually just get rid of this leaf now, but I mean, it's not doing any harm. I just don't like how it's leaning on that leaf there. But anyway, maybe I'll just curl it back around again. Yeah, let's do that. So this one's going back in. But I do want to put um, those two Melanocrysums into soil at some stage very, very soon. I've got these two um, Dragon Scale. For some reason, they just came out really dinky. It's actually just one corm in there. Um, it's quite moist, actually. But yeah, so that's that. I'm actually going to put you towards the back. And then last is my wet sticks of what is this oh this is my philodendron white princess and she's actually showing some variegation which is really nice nothing crazy some of the leaves look a bit dodged but i mean she's tiny so she'll get there i might actually put this in soil as well i think a lot of these actually need to be moved into soil right so the next stage is i'm going to put this back in the box because i like to i'm kind of trying to as i said i'm trying to acclimate them so i'm keeping an eye on the humidity in this box just making sure yeah, just kind of making sure that um Come on. Why do we want to touch each other now? Yeah, just making sure that um, it's not going. I want it to stay like around 50, 60, because that's what the room is generally. Or 60, 60, I've been keeping it at about 65, although last night it was at 70. Um, the room at the moment, actually, let's just see what the room is now. I'll just leave it out for a little bit. Okay, so I will show you what's going on in this box. 
there. They're all in there. Having a fabulous time in the box there. These are going to go, this lid would normally go on top like this. And then I just need to tape the lights on to the top of the box. Now the lights are a bit higher because the box is obviously high. Okay, so that is everything. Thanks for coming along on my um, rearranging my plant journey. And uh, if you managed to get all the way to this part, well, congratulations. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, putting the shelving together was Oh, I was so close to getting it done like that, but you know, those instructions, mm, they could be a little clearer. But anyway, I hope that if you do have, if you do intend on getting the shelving, that maybe you'll learn from my mistakes. Thanks again for hanging out. And if you enjoyed the video, please do remember to give me a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all here again very soon. Have a fabulous week. All right, bye.